All right, in this video, I want to cover a methodology for training your body to swing the club properly in the backswing and the downswing and follow through and whatnot. And what I have here is a heavy club that I obtained from um, golfgym.com. And it's really not necessary for you to obtain one of these, they're not that cheap. Um, if you can get one of those weights that slip on to your club down near the club head, that would be ideal as well. Um, but this heavy club is, if you want to go and purchase one of these, I, I do recommend it because it gets you to put your hands on the club properly. It, it's got a formed grip and it's got some good weight, weight to it as well. So what I do when I teach my students, when we get to the point where we're working on the positioning in the golf swing, is I get this heavy club out and the first thing I do is I'll move them into the positions they should be in the golf swing. So what happens is, is you want to get set up and then I'll position the club where it should be in the takeaway. And when the takeaway, the takeaway ends when the club is parallel to the ground. And this heavier club in their hands sends a stronger signal to their brain. So when I do that, I get them to hold that position for a few seconds and then we might go back down to the setup position. And then we'll do that repeatedly and I'll make them hold that, that position. And it's a really good idea to do that because like I said, it sends a stronger signal to the brain from the muscles on what you're trying to achieve at the various positions in the golf swing. So what I'll do is I'll have them do some reps of just doing the takeaway. And then I'll have them do some reps from the takeaway position to the halfway position. And I'll position their bodies the way I want it to be as well. So we'll go from there to there. And then I might go from here to here to wherever the full swing ends for them. And then I'll have them do some slow motion reps all the way from the setup through the takeaway, halfway, and to the top of their swing. And we'll do that repeatedly. And then I'll just have them make some really slow motion swings with the downswing and the follow through included as well. Now it's a really good idea if you're at home or if you have a mirror that you can take with you to the golf course, those are obtainable as well on the internet. They're not too cheap either, so if you've got a mirror at home, what you can also do is get yourself in front of that mirror so that you can practice these moves and get these moves ingrained in your full swing and it'll speed up the learning process, okay? Just because of those stronger signals to the brain. So get in front of the mirror this way and then you also want to work these positions in the, with the down the line view with that mirror back this way as well so that you can see what you're doing in that mirror and make sure that you're hitting the positions that you're trying to achieve. So this is a great tool for learning the golf swing and I highly recommend these very slow motion swings. so that you can get a much greater feel for how you're supposed to swing the club throughout the swing when you're doing it at full speed. In fact, Ben Hogan was famous for performing one practice swing that would take him 10 minutes to complete because he wanted to feel every single inch of that golf swing and where he wanted to be. So you just gotta make sure that when you're doing that, that you're getting all the me mechanics down properly when you're doing it. For instance, one mistake a lot of students have when they're doing these slow motion swings is in the downswing they get the head going way too soon. So you got to make sure that you keep that chin in place pointed at the ball until impact and then after impact you can let the head release. But this is a good way to train their body and get this, the golf swing in sync and in the proper sequence and it will also speed up your learning of the golf swing substantially. So I highly recommend using some sort of a weighted club or a weight on one of your clubs and doing these slow 
slow motion swings and these piecemeal swings that I demonstrated earlier. Work on that and you're going to start improving your golf swing much more quickly. And we'll see you down the road in some more videos.